Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Aquarius, okay? Now, Aquarius, this is going to be your weekly general reading. This is going to be for December the 28th through the 3rd of January, 2021, okay? Please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Remember to always take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else. Now, Aquarius, we are in the new age of Aquarius. I bet you guys are really feeling this uh, very strongly. Uh, it's definitely been powerful energies all around for me, okay? Uh, honestly, you guys, leave me a comment. Let me know how this energy you know, which is your energy affecting you in your life and in your situation. I hope all of you had a wonderful, beautiful, blessed Christmas, and I hope you have a blessed and safe New Year's as well. Okay, and Happy New Year to everyone. Now, I do want to say something real quick, Aquarius. This is going to be reading number one. I've already done a reading for you guys, and it was... It's for a specific person, okay? And I will be uploading it after I upload this one. So it'll be number two. Um, that reading wasn't for the collective, so that's why I'm doing this one. So with that said, let's get on with your reading. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right. Ooh, we have Celebration. All right. Positive energy right there. Thank you, Spirit. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does Sagittarius oops, need to know this week? Okay. The 28th through the 3rd of January, 2021. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit says keep it. All right. Your situation is the King of Cups. your foundation there you are Aquarius showing up in your reading I love it Woo, this can be powerful all right in the position of what's benefiting me this week is the king of wands in your crowning position you have temperance all right and then you have the two of coins okay Wow, I tell you what, you guys are definitely, you know, go-getters this week, okay? You are definitely moving in on an opportunity that is going to be golden, okay? And I'll get more into that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So we have celebration. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements, okay? So, you know, there's a promised uh, victory here is what I'm getting, okay? And it's going to be important, you guys, for you to celebrate all your achievements, no matter how small you may think they are, okay? You know, celebrate it because that's you showing gratitude. And I tell you what, when your angels or guides, spirit sees you showing that gratitude, I guarantee you, you're going to receive even more blessings and abundance, okay? You know, this is definitely has to do with your outcome energy. There's a huge decision I feel like many of you are going to be making. And you know what? It's going to be a successful uh, new path that you are fixing to embark on. All right. And it, I feel like it has to do with your career, your business. Uh, some of you, this could be you, you know, moving up within a company that you already work for. For others of you, this is you carving your own path, okay? Making a decision to release and let go maybe of a dead-end job that you've had. And, or, or maybe it's not even a dead-end job. Maybe you've had, maybe you have education. Maybe you went and, uh, you know, got a degree and you realized that after 15 years of doing this particular job, you know, you don't have any passion for it. It's not what you truly want. I see you going after something that you do want. All right, so we have the King of Cups right here. This is your situation, whether you're male or female, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You know, this tells me you have a level head on your shoulders, Aquarius. This tells me that, 
you know, you've got it together, okay? Your emotions are balanced. You have balanced energy right here. You know, the King of Cups doesn't get over emotional. He keeps it together. He keeps his cool even in stressful situations, okay? This is a very generous energy as well. You know, this king has a lot to offer. And what he has to offer is experience. For some of you, you are definitely fixing to maybe start a spiritual career, okay? Practice. I feel like many of you have gained a lot of knowledge through the spiritual path that you have went down, okay? And you've you've went through the dark night of the soul and you've made it to the light at the end of the tunnel and you're not the same Aquarius you were when you had begun that journey. You're a wiser, uh, more knowledgeable, compassionate individual right here. Some of you, you know, this is definitely having a mastery over a spiritual path and you're definitely thinking about starting, you know, your... Maybe it's a YouTube channel. Maybe it's getting on a platform. There's, You're being called here. You're being called, I feel like, to help others along their spiritual path and journey. You guys are definitely stepping into your spiritual gifts at this time. You're very supportive. I feel like people can come to you when they need support, advice, or just somebody to listen to them. And you're honest with them. All right, here you are, Aquarius, the star. <laughs> this is in your foundation. This is what's driving you. So you're definitely feeling your own energy, and it's amazing, all right? You know, you guys, there's a dream here, a vision, a wish. And I feel like with this coming up here, being in your driving position, you're understanding and realizing that that dream is within reach, okay? But it's up to you to move forward with it. And this is you doing so right here. I feel like many of you are in communication with your spirit guides, with the spirit realm. Uh, you know, you're listening to your higher self. You're receiving many messages through dreams, symbolism, okay? You're looking at numbers, synchronicities, you guys. It's going to be very powerful. It's going to help you understand Some of you have recently went through a healing process, okay? This could have been a physical, uh, something physical that you have had to recover from, okay? And I feel like you have recovered from it very quickly. You're either at the end stage of it or you have recovered 100% and now you are definitely on your way. Um, to what it is that your goal is, what it is that you're wanting to achieve. Now you have the King of Wands right here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is, you know, whether you're male or female, this is that go-getter energy, okay? You know, Aquarius, this is what's benefiting you. This is that, this is that energy of, I know what I want and I'm going after it. Nothing is going to distract me or get in my way, okay? of what it is that you're achieving here. You will have success, just like this celebration right here. This is definitely the energy of starting your own business. This is the energy of a healer, a mentor, a teacher, okay? This is a very powerful and bold energy. Like I said, I feel like for many of you, you know, you are going to be using your gifts, your spiritual gifts to benefit you and your situation. Some of you are moving up within a higher management role uh, with the company or corporation you, you already work for, okay? You're climbing that ladder of, to success right here. Then we have temperance, all right? This is the energy of Sagittarius. This is in your crowning position. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about, okay? This is you being the creator of your reality. This is you being the alchemist. This is you knowing your potential, what you can do and doing it. This is you transmuting, okay? Maybe taking a negative energy and transmuting it into something positive. Maybe this is you uh, seeing a certain way, uh, a situation, or there's a certain outcome that you see that's coming up ahead and you don't like it. 
This is you causing change, okay? And that just tells, tells me how powerful you guys are, okay? This is you balancing your energies. This is you having the self-confidence, okay? Endless opportunities and possibilities here for you, Aquarius. Now you have the two of coins as your outcome energy. And if you'll notice, you see that golden ball back here. You got a golden opportunity coming in here. Okay. You guys have a lot on your plate, you know, but you do it gracefully. People admire you. They don't understand or see how you do what you do because they just can't imagine having that much, okay, on their plate and doing it. So I feel like you're highly respected by people that are around you and they see what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. I feel like whatever you've been juggling, you're fixing to release it and let it go because you have this golden opportunity that's coming in here. And, you know, it's going to require you to make a huge life-changing decision here about your financial situation. This is definitely you going after a different career business, you know, maybe going back to school, but you're going to make that choice. And it's going to be for the betterment, okay? It's going to bring more finances into your life, uh, financial stability and security. This is going to help you build up your financial empire right here. And not only are you going to be building up your financial empire, this is something you enjoy as well. All right, Aquarius, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, for being patient with me. I had the flu last week. I was not able to get the air sign uh, weeklies up, and I apologize for that. Please leave me a comment, you guys. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation, and I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Aquarius.